Okay, this video response is actually going to answer this question in general, and then you can follow the pattern for this given radius and this given height. But here's the situation. If, if we call this the radius right here of this triangle, or the leg of this triangle, and this distance from here out to H0, the height, if we revolve that triangle around the x-axis, you will get a cone. And the volume of a cone is 1 third pi r squared h. So we should be able to use calculus to derive that formula. We're going to revolve this region about the x-axis using the disk method. So that's pi times the integral, in this case, from 0 to h of the radius squared. Question is, what is the radius? Well, uh, it's this y value right here for any given disk. And if we could find the equation of that line, then that distance would be depending on our x value. So the slope of that line using uh, these two points, 0r and h0, using r y sub 2 minus y sub 1 is r minus 0 over 0 minus h. There's the slope of that line. And the y-intercept is at 0 r, so the equation of that hypotenuse is negative r over h times x plus, I'll go to capital R. Okay, so what is the volume of the solid? Pi times the integral from 0 to h of the radius squared. The radius squared is this mess right here. Note that r and h are constants, so we're depending on x. So the antiderivative, raise the exponent by 1, we get x cubed, divide by the or multiply by the reciprocal of the new exponent, and then evaluate from 0 to h. And what happens is we get 1 third r squared h here, and these two terms cancel out. So there's the formula right there. So for your problem, imagine substituting 3 for r, 5 for h in all of this work, and you should be able to come up with your answers. There you go. Hope that helped. If you have any questions, post a comment.